And the only thing that I've done thus far is read and show love to you guys for wishing me a happy birthday and then show my birthday video. Would you just so happen to believe that I have four, four dislikes on this video? Let me go ahead and get a round of applause for the dislike. Why do you hate on a nigga on his birthday, though? You ain't got one day of peace in your spirit. So every single day, I know it ain't nothing. It's probably two hyenas and two hate watchers. How do you how do you be mad at a dude on a Friday? For most of us, it's payday. I got my paycheck today from my regular corporate job. I gave my daughter her allowance. I gave Rita some money. Rita is out here in these streets um, getting her hair done and all of this other stuff. How 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 do you how do you hate on a fr on a payday Friday in the spring? It's April. Life is good. Just got out the shop. How do you do that? Hey, I got two more. Man, listen, bro. It's just the way of the game. It's just the way of the game. Y'all said jealousy. And you know the you know the interesting thing about jealousy is that there is no true rhyme or reason for it. There is no reason for jealousy. There is no reason. Like, you can't reason with a jealous person. It's nothing that you can comprehend as a sane, normal person. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to them. Shout out to uh, to all of the people. I ain't even got started on the show yet. At least one person took their hate comment, took they, take, they dislike back. That's crazy. You ain't got no peace in your spirit. Let me tell you what. I jumped in the shower today, and I was thinking about, um, what my life was going to be going going forward, right? And uh, I'm going to read the Super Chats throughout the show. I'm going to read some more of them after we do Quick Hits and after I say this one thing. And I was, I was trying to figure out, well, God, what am I going to ask for this year? Because the only time that I ever ask anything from God or any time that I ever like kind of readjust what I'm looking for or what it is that I'm trying to work towards is on my birthday, right? And so I was figuring it out. And I can only come up with a few things, right? A, I just want to continue to have peace. And what peace looks like for me is surrounding myself with the right people. It used to look like me only going with a select group of people. So I would always try to remove people from my life, um, you know, that was toxic or that didn't add value into my life. But peace for me this year is surrounding myself with more friends more bag chasers, more people that love me, and only those people. So as soon as we see Dusty Dusties or as soon as we see people that's not adding value into our life, we remove them. And the reason that we remove them is not because we just don't like them. It's because we replacing them with more people that actually is great for us and give us that good energy. I want to have fun. I want to have a lot of sex. I want to party. I want to travel some more. I want to build more houses. I want to enjoy my daughter. I want to go into these meetups with you guys. I want to fly to y'all cities. I want to see things that I've never saw before. I want to put more people on. I want to get more money for the people. I want to make more money for myself. I just want good energy. That's all I want. Anything that's good energy or anything that's related to good energy, I want to invest in more people's businesses. I want to help more people out. I want to do more volunteer work, more homeless work. I just want to continue to do the Lord's work. And I just, you know what I'm saying? I want to surround myself with good energy. That's it. That's all I want is good energy because I know that good energy yields good fruit. So if you a person that's positive or you a person that's moving in the direction that I'm going in, I invite you into my circle. I invite you into my sphere. I know that we're going to go through things because it rains on the just and the unjust. Things happen. Life happens. We can figure that part out. But as long as we got each other and as long as we got a good energy, that's all we need. Because I firmly believe in my heart, the only way that we can show that we truly love God is to show that we love the people that he put on this earth. So we're going to remove the dusty dusties and we're going to still give them grace. We're going to pray for them and we're going to pray that God heal their spirit and heal their soul. And then we're going to go and we're going to do great things. So while they watching on the outside looking in, it's almost like looking at everybody else partying and then wanting to hate the party. We're not going to worry about that. We're going to focus 100% of our energy, 100% of our energy on things that is building and is leading us and continuing to lead us in the direction that we're supposed to go in. We're not going to focus anything 
anything. And if we do, we are going to get off track. Sometimes we get off track. Reel me back in. Yo, Anton, focus. Get to it. And I'm going to reel you back in because accountability go both ways. I am my brother's keeper. I am my sister's keeper. And we're going to run it up. We're going to do great things. We're going to make more money. We're going to have some great energy, sex, great relationships, networking, travel, all good things. We're going to read our Bible. We're going to have good, good spirits, good energy. We're going to become more, more educated, wiser, get more understanding. Everything good. Everything good. And as long as you fill your cup with good things, there's no way that bad things can get into it. Every day, every day, every day, good energy. That's all I care about. Running it up in good energy, making sure that every day that I wake up, I feel good. And when I go bed, go to bed, I feel good about the day that I live. And we're going to leave it all on the floor because you can't take none of this stuff with you. We're going to die empty. We're going to die empty. And what I mean by dying empty, that means that we're not going to leave nothing on the floor. Every piece of knowledge that I gain, I'm going to give it to you. Anything that you get from a knowledge perspective, you give it to me. We're going to put that junk into work. We're going to leave our kids with a legacy and an inheritance. We're going to make sure that everybody get married, that they fix their relationships. We're going to pray for people. We're going to live every single day like it's our last because you don't know when your last day is. And so we're going to live, live every day like our last and we're going to leave this earth in a better space had we not been here. Flat out. Flat out. And anybody that's not on that, feel free to hit the dislike button because I know you miserable, but God going to heal you. If you hate watching a day, any other day, I don't care. But if you hate watching a day, I pray for you. I know that God got something for you. He going to heal you today. He going to fix you. He going to fix your soul, your spirit. You going to be wrangling so bad with what it is that you got going on in your life. Think about this for a second before we get into the live stream. When I get off this live stream today, and as I continue to connect with my people and I be texting back and forth with them and having good energy and good times with them. And you got to go back to your air mattress or you got to go back to your fucked up situation or you got all of these problems. You still going to have those problems at the end of the day. I don't know you. I don't see you. I'm living a great life. I'm living an incredible life and you still got to go home with you at the end of the day. That's not fun. That's not sweet. Ain't nothing good with that. You don't get nothing out of that. You don't get no award. You don't get no accolade. You don't get nothing. I'm going to pray for you right here, right now. Lord, look at this demon that's watching his live stream right now. Take out all of the acid, vitriol, anger, hate out of the demon that is feeling a certain type of way and to their core, they're rotten. Take out all of that negativity and fill it with fruit and seeds of righteousness and good energy. Take out all of that cancer, that cancerous heart, that cancerous spirit, that cancerous mindset that's affecting their health every day. That they have to then lean on other vices outside of things that is natural. They're not high off life. They got to go and get other things to make them feel better about themselves. And then they wake up in the morning and they're worse off than they was when they, when they went to sleep last night. Take all of that shit out of them. Remove all of that ugly, nasty stuff up out of their spirit and get it up out of them so that they can live a full life, so that their children will love them, so that their parents will reverence them, so that they can get some videos from their family that says, we love you, thank you for continuing to be you, we see what you're doing and continue to go down that path, you making us proud. Let them make somebody else proud by what they do, not by seeking accolades and awards, but being a reflection of the thing that they supposed to leave society as. Bless them to be used. Don't let them grow old and ugly and stupid and have a hardened heart when they go and then let them die with all of this hate and vitriol in their heart so that they can bust hell wide open. Bless them and open up their heart so that they can be used when they actually have some vibrancy, when they actually have some usefulness 
in them. Don't let them wait until they get on their deathbed and then try to ask you for forgiveness. That ain't when it's going to come. Let them be able to be used as a vessel for righteousness and greatness today. Bless them to take accountability. Let, bless them to actually fix themselves. Because I can't do it. I don't know who they are. You know who they are. You know where they at. Bless them to be something that actually can be used for goodness. In Jesus name. You said where two or three are gathered in your name, there you are in the midst of them. I know you hear that. I know you hear our prayers. Let them go through it so they can get to it and bless them with all of the goodness after they go and serve you for righteousness sake. And don't let them skip steps either. Bless them to go through it just like everybody else had to go through it in order to get to it. In Jesus name, rebuke the devil out of your ugly, funky heart. You little demon. In Jesus name. Amen. That's my gift to you on my birthday. You know what I'm saying? We're going to continue to get on with the show. I'm going to be reading the Super Chats after we get through Quick Hits. We're going to continue to revisit it. I bet y'all wasn't expecting that one, was y'all? I got time today. <laughs> Ooh, you didn't know that I was a prayer warrior, did you? You didn't know that I was a prayer warrior. Yeah, I can get down with the best of them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shalom, Sita. 